In his first Olympics, Stephen Curry left an indelible mark. After a cold tournament, his blistering performances in the two most important games ensured Team USA retained their pride of place on the basketball ladder. The medal, however, holds great significance, so much so that he always carries it with him. But more than that, the bond he built with the 12 alpha players who were able to find a way to stay together. He didn't like all of them during his years of NBA competition. Speaking to USA Today, the chef was asked what he was most grateful for during his time in Paris and the experience of representing the USA at the Olympics. What I'll remember most is the group of 12 guys in the locker room. As expected, the contingent in Paris included A-listers rivaling the 1992 Dream Team, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Curry, Drew Holiday, and Anthony Davis, veteran players who are some of the biggest personalities in the NBA. Then there was the younger generation, which included players like Anthony Edwards, Devin Booker, and Jason Tatum. When Steph Curry relived his unforgettable story in Paris, he remembered a time when he didn't have much love for some of his Olympic teammates. Especially in today's day and age, it's really hard to have 12 different stories coming together and having that level of sacrifice and commitment for the group. It took time for Team USA to find their footing and the right balance on the court. Remember that exhibition game against South Sudan in preparation for the games? During an interview with USA Today, Steph mentioned how the team carried the weight of the country's expectations on their shoulders throughout the competition, which included several NBA legends. So when they beat South Sudan by just one point at the O2 Arena, the team was not happy. As LeBron James explained, the first time we played South Sudan, the coach was not happy with our performance. So he got mad at us and we lashed out at each other during practice.